Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Euro-Pound currency pair. And if you remember, this was something we were looking at just a, a snapshot or two ago. And we were looking at a possible breakout. As it happened, that breakout completely failed. And we want to just have a look back at that, that potential trade setup and just see how the, the risk management and the entry exit techniques within that trade could have really affected the way the trade worked out and the way you, um, your, your final p and L in this in this theoretical trade could have worked out. Now, just taking a look at the euro pound daily candlestick chart here. Now, this was very much what we were looking at before. And as you can see, there's this resistance area, as we've uh, indicated on the left-hand side here, and it forms around. 0.7385 with uh, 0.74 being the kind of round number involved. And you can see that we had that breakout. Um, so the, the, um, the day closed above our resistance area. It was looking good at that point. But then the next couple of days, uh, we've got a bit of a weak follow through. I mean, it didn't actually follow through higher at all. We've got a couple of lower closes and some fairly kind of weak looking candlesticks. But on that, on that uh, sort of second day following the breakout, we did move higher. And then the third day, we actually got a, a higher close. So it was looking good at that point. But then you can see here, I've kind of um, highlighted this as a, as a weak price move and a retest of the breakout area. Now, it's, this is where it starts coming into how do you interpret that, that price action right there. To some, that would have been enough just to get out of the trade. You know, that's not the kind of strong follow through that you want on a breakout. Ditch the trade. Um, so at that, you know, that would have been an exit for some people. For others, perhaps just a retest, you can see that this, uh, this candlestick closed right at the resistance area at this 0.7385, and so theoretically the trade's still on. Now the real pain was the, the following day where we saw that large candlestick lower, and obviously at this point we know this, is a, this has been a false breakout, you know, it's not moved to, to higher prices, we're back into this trading range that we'd been in previously. Now one possible area to, to ditch this trade depending on where you'd placed your initial stop loss here, is just to have dumped the trade after it broke that support on that, uh, that second day after the breakout. That would have been one area. Now, likelihood is that would have been a loss, but you would cut yourself out at a, a fairly minimal loss. Another approach here, some might have given this trade a bit more room, perhaps had a stop loss underneath the, the bottom of the range. Now, that's a bit more of a kind of longer, you know, that's giving the, the trade more room to work, and it looked like that was starting to work. <clears throat> you can see the price moved down, held that support area, as I've, I've just highlighted it, saying hold support. We got a bounce back. It was looking a bit more promising there. Uh, but then you can see that there was, there was a couple of lower candlesticks, and they broke that support again. And again, that would have been a possible area. Had you held on down to the, uh, the support area, you could have thought maybe at this point, OK, things are not looking good. I've given this a chance to bounce back. It's not doing it cut your losses there. Um, otherwise, should you have held your stop loss beneath that, that range support, then you know that eventually this, this trade would have um, ended up as, a, as most likely a loss down around there where you, we've broken that, that final support. And I've just put it in commas, final nail in the coffin, because there's no real coming back from that. That said, you know, we may not get a lower close today. This is today's candlestick. We may move back into the trading range again. And so you can see just depending on where you had your entries here, where you had your exits, the trade could have been a very different result. It could have been a very small loss, um, could have been quite a large loss. That said, in future trades, you could have had a few more smaller losses because you're taking your loss that much quicker. And perhaps in a future trade, a similar setup would have just held the support and gone through to, to break higher. So uh, just goes to show that the pattern itself is not enough in the trading. It's really about how you manage it afterwards. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot. A little bit different from usual, just looking at how a trade sets up and how it follows through and how you manage that risk going afterwards can obviously affect the result, as I mentioned, a good amount. So um, no fundamentals to talk about this week in terms of the Euro Pound, but we'll probably be back with more next week.